Hey y'all, today we're going to go over the 2022 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight 2906 BS. For the 2022 year, we're seeing a dry weight of 8,559 pounds and a GV rating of 9,900 pounds. Hitch weight, 1,100 pounds. Exterior height, 11 feet 3 inches and an overall length of 35 foot 5 inches. Freshwater tank, 54 gallons. Blackwater tank, 45 gallons. Gray water tank, 45 gallons with an 11 foot awning. Hey guys, Eric here with RV Wholesalers and today we're gonna go over the 2022 2906 BS. It's a Rockwood Ultralight. Uh, a lot of features on this that, uh, that, that, that we're gonna be going through. So uh watch closely really cool trailer one of my favorites personally um starting up front this one has a two battery option up here uh typically you can get either a for an option or b you can get it as a dealer option that they can add it and the box like that from the dealership two 30 pound cylinders standard on all ultralight and above uh campers power tongue jack uh recessed front windshield it's to help minimize um, uh, rock chips in the, in the glass and everything like that. The redesign on the front cap has been nothing but amazing. So a uh, lot to take advantage of with that. Moving on back here, you have, um, you have your uh, mounts here for your uh, griddle that comes standard with all Rockwood products and your outdoor entertainment area for your TV. You have two 110 plugs, cable hookup, so if you're wanting to watch the race or anything like that, you can totally do that right out here under the shade. And uh, the solid triple steps, Rockwood hasn't changed anything about those. They're still strut assisted, so they're very easy to lift up and down uh, without hardly any effort whatsoever. Um, one of the other big features out here that I really love about Rockwood is that it has frameless uh, frameless windows all along the side here it's just really a nice touch um, it's going to help minimize you know black that you see kind of running down some campers when they age uh, they'll bleed off some black on the side of the camper what with these the frameless windows you don't really even get that at all so they look good uh, makes it less maintenance on keeping the side of your camper clean uh, a lot of great features that come along with that and you can even get dual pane windows as an option from rockwood uh, to if you're kind of a late season camper uh, it's going to help from uh, keep moisture build up down which is ultimately going to keep your camper uh, much more of a stable temperature coming back here on the slide still again frameless windows uh, they're panoramic windows so you get two huge windows right here that's gonna allow in a lot of natural lighting on the inside. Uh, so that way, um, that way you can cut down on energy uh, usage if you're boondocking, so you don't really need the lights on during the day. Uh, so having those big windows is a really nice feature. On this slide, you actually get a second awning. So that way, uh, the usual complaint of having a slide where an awning goes is that you don't lose any real estate under the shade with having the awning on the outside of the slide. So that's a really nice, well thought out feature from Rockwood as well. This unit also has uh, power stabilizer jacks. Uh, this is actually uh, this is actually standard on the Rockwood Ultralight uh, power stabilizer jacks. So it's one, uh, one touch, you hold it down, stabilizer jacks come on down. And there's also another switch for the front stabilizer jacks. And uh, moving towards the back of the camper, I'd like to take a minute to let you know about all of our uh, social media input. We are being very active on social media. You can find us on uh, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe uh, so you can catch all the action that we're doing over here at RV Wholesalers. Uh, you're never going to be able to miss a beat when you hit subscribe. 
Moving on to the back side of the RV here, roof ladder, huge panoramic frameless window right back here. Again, you're getting a ton of natural light in this trailer. Uh, you get a nice uh, bumper that you can pop the caps off. You can uh, tuck away your sewage line in there. Popular, uh, popular place to put that if your camper has it. Rockwood thought about that, so they made the caps removable. That way you can go ahead and put it right in there full-size spare so that way if you do have a blowout or if you have a flat on the side of the road you do have a full-size spare to put right on there and uh, you do get your uh, 50 amp uh, shore power cable that does come with the trailer so you're not going to have to go out and find your own cable for it over here on the park side of the trailer now your park side of the trailer is going to be the side of the trailer that has all your utility hookups like your sewage water um, cable electric uh, in this case the electric is on the back but it is on the park side of the trailer on the back so that way nothing interferes with the campsite where you enjoy everything and right here on the park side of the trailer you get this nice nice outside storage area uh, where you can uh, put a toolkit you could put uh, tackle boxes you could put all kinds of stuff your cookware and stuff could go in here real easily and one of, uh, one of my favorite features about Rockwood is that when you close the door, it has the slam baggage latches. So, and they, and they each lock, but they're super easy to open and close, uh, shut it down, and you can get out, of, get out of the campground as quick as you need to. So that way you can extend the amount of time that you are actually camping and not stowing up. Now, one of the main features that people really love about Rockwood is that it actually comes standard with the typical upgrade that somebody would get. The standard tire is the Goodyear Endurance tire. Uh, a lot of you uh, out there that have been RVing before, you probably have upgraded your tires to these. Rockwood, those are an actual standard for the tire. Moving along over here, you get your outside shower. It has hot and cold feature. Um, and you get a nice little light out here. That way, if you ever needed to come over here and check your fittings, water heater, uh, you have a nice little light over here that you can uh, see what you're doing. So that way you can have both hands available and not just one while you're trying to hold your cell phone flashlight up there. Hot water heater, city water connection, black tank flush, antifreeze, satellite cable. All that good stuff is, uh, is right here, standard on Rockwood. Uh, black tank flush is a nice feature. You get your uh, gray and black dump valves, super easy to get to. Also right underneath your lights so you can see what you're doing. And uh, that way is just uh, something to be known about a Rockwood product. It's just everything's real convenient. It's right there. You don't have to mess with anything for too long. Coming up here to your, uh, to your bedroom slide, you actually do have an outside access with the same slam baggage latch and a magnet that holds the door up. Now this, uh, this access is, uh, you're able to access it inside under the bed or you can access it outside. This is gonna be for, you know, like, uh, like suitcases or uh, a lot of people put the griddle that comes standard on this under here. Um, uh, maybe, um, if uh if you had like your toolkits and things like that there's actually a lot of space that makes up for not having pass-through storage so um, the whole underneath side of the bed is a storage cavity now coming into the living area of the 2906 bs uh, you're going to notice that it is a very wide open rear living layout a lot of great features in here and we're going to touch on each one of them just to really show you uh, what the capability is of this trailer. A lot of people uh, kind of ask me, it's like, hey, how is something like this gonna suit for, you know, maybe full-time uh, living or extended stay, things like that. And something like this is always gonna be a winner in my book. Uh, one, it's a Rockwood. Two, it's a large rear living layout. It has all the features that you're ever really gonna need uh, if it's just you and a spouse or you and your dog uh, that are going to be living in this thing for an extended amount of time. It's got everything you're ever gonna need. 
So what I'd like to start with is up here in the kitchen area, your sink and countertop is separated away from the cooking area. So this actually maximizes your amount of counter space as well as the island. And if, if it wasn't enough counter space, you actually do get a nice countertop extension right here that will uh, provide even more space for uh, prepping food or uh, just uh, more space in general. And um, it stows up really easy and it just folds out of the way. Moving on, you get a nice stainless steel Magic Chef microwave uh very large for an rv uh it has rotisserie in there so it actually isn't basic i mean this it's a nice microwave that you get in here <clears throat> storage nice big storage cabinet right up here as well as storage cabinets underneath the sink uh you get two sets of two gfci protected outlets um it's for your coffee maker uh, or uh, your blender or anything you're gonna need to, to run on that. Separated over here, you get your three burner stove, oven, storage, a lot of drawers and above to where you're never really gonna run out of space. And you even get an additional light right up under there and another light right here for your range. And underneath the, the Edison bulbs under here, nice lighting you get a nice solid countertop island that's uninterrupted by a sink um, so it's just 100 percent counter space and you even get a nice large drawer right here uh, for you know some of your bigger items that you have um, and uh, two little storage uh, cubbies up underneath for your pots and pans and uh, other big items like that and moving on over here nice uh residential sized um refrigerator it's magic chef brand um you can uh get a lot of stuff in here and as you see this is kind of a common spot where we'll stow things while it's in transport because it doesn't have anywhere to move so um that's that's why if you go to a dealership you'll see a lot of stuff in the refrigerator just because it doesn't move a lot in there you get um, your standard uh, tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard on all Rockwood products. It has a display right here that you can have up in your tow vehicle. It's gonna tell you uh, temperature, uh, so it'll give you an alert if, if the tire temperature is getting too high. Uh, it'll tell your tire pressures, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of great features. This is actually standard on a Rockwood product very cool not a lot of people do that and we'll just set that back in there for its new owner also uh, one thing that comes in the Rockwoods here it's taped in there but you get your uh, inline water filtration system this is actually standard the water purifier is standard on Rockwoods and uh, you have this and there's a part number right in here to where you can order all your extras uh, for later on down the road when you when, when you need to get your extras. Up here in the freezer, you'll see uh, like your uh, this is typically where you'll find your owner's manual on your new camper. Uh, you know other things like your remote controls and things like that. A lot of cool space, and this actually does cool down uh, very quickly. So that way you can spend um, less time prepping and more time camping. So that's a very high end feature to be able to have that refrigerator cool off so quick. Coming back in here into the living area now, as you see, there's, there, there's a ton of space back here. So there's more than enough room to, to be able to utilize a trailer like this long term or even just simply for your quick weekend camping trip, your getaway. Um, but yeah, tons of space. You get nice features like, you know, a nice large TV. You get Bluetooth radio, inside, outside speakers, um, or you can play both of them at the same time. You have HDMI plugins on that, so you can run a uh, surround sound setup in here if you wanted to. Um, one of a really cool feature that I like about what Rockwood done is that they made the mount of the TV be able to swivel outwards like this. 
and uh, it is all secured as you see there's a fair amount of framework back here to make sure that this is secured 100 percent and back there you have a big shelf another big shelf underneath this is where i would uh maybe put like a, like a small safe or um you know if if uh, you have your uh, protective devices with you you can put that back here for safekeeping and it's going to be a very unlikely spot for somebody if they were to break in they they're they're not really going to know that this does that so it's a really cool feature they can tuck stuff way back here and uh and it's all out of the way and as you see it does secure into place very well moving on back this is an option for the rear sofa here. This is a trifold sofa, and a lot of you guys like trifold sofas because it takes away a lot of the purpose in getting a bunkhouse trailer. With the trifold sofa, this thing will actually come out to probably about here, uh, which will make up almost uh, to a queen size bed. So you can sleep two kids on that. Uh, you could possibly sleep another uh, kid here. And uh, so that, that would bump up your sleeping space to one, two, three, four, five. So even if you wanted to use this as your family trailer, you can most certainly do that. I know some people out there don't like bunk houses, so this definitely allows you the freedom to not have a bunk house, but still have a maximum amount of sleeping space. And coming along over here, you have uh, uh, this feature right here, which is also an option. This is your theater seating. So you'll see your switches right here. Uh, it does have power, power recline on both sides. Now a lot of people ask, can you use that uh, while you're not plugged in? The answer is no, you cannot. Uh, but what they did is they actually um, put in uh, manual rip cords on the side to where you can still use your recliner function without it being plugged in. Also over here you get uh, armrest cup holders uh, you have uh, a 110 outlet, two USB plugs, and everything stows up real nice. That way, if you ever did need to sleep somebody here, you can do that. And moving on forward is our dinette. You do get a table extension here that's underneath. Four chairs. This is what's called a freestanding table and chairs. Uh, on, on this one, some trailers you can option this in. Um, some you can have a boot dinette. This one has freestanding table and chairs. And what you're seeing here, the window coverings, is the day-night roller shades option that you get on Rockwood. Otherwise, it will come with like the accordion style um, uh, blinds. Uh, but this is your, um, your day-night roller shade option. So this thing, how, how this was built, was uh, built very well. And, um, you know, it's got your upgraded AC in this one, which you can do as an option. I believe it has a bedroom AC for the second option uh, that you can also do for a Rockwood. Um, Rockwood Ultralight, if you got the second AC, that second AC actually does come with a built-in heat pump and that's very effective in taking the edge off of the cold if you guys are a late season camper. Coming into the bathroom of the 2906, um, very nice and roomy for a, for a kind of a corner bathroom style. One thing I wanna talk about in the shower is one, you get a lot of natural light. We have a nice sunny day out, so you can actually see how bright it really gets in here on a nice sunny day. Also in the shower, you have what's called the shower miser. It's very, very important that you read the caution label above that. And it says when using a shower miser uh, with city water hookups, your fresh, uh, fresh water tank can overflow onto the ground. So if you're hooked up to city water and your shower miser is on, it, it recycles that water back to your tank. So that way there's no waste of water while you're waiting on the hot water. Problem with that is with your, when you're on city water, and you're using your shower miser, it can overflow the tank. So if you're on city water, don't even worry about using the shower miser. If you're boondocking or you don't have water hookup, make sure that uh, you do use the shower miser then. That's just a quick tech tip about shower miser. Uh, a lot of trailers don't have that, 
so it, a lot of people don't really know how to use it so I figured I would throw that in there for a little extra tech tip if this is the trailer that you desire also talking about here in the bathroom it comes with a lot of really great features like um, uh, your uh, corner shower doors with a locking latch that goes on them so you can get in there and do what you need to do and you don't have to worry about the shower curtain sticking to you or anything like that you also have a huge storage cabinet right over here for all your towels um, swimming trunks all kinds of stuff there's a storage under there as well you get your um, max um, or your porcelain toilet is standard on all Rockwoods uh, so that's a nice feature also max air ventilation fans so uh, you know it, it, if if you needed to it gets the uh, the smell or the water vapor out here fast so you don't have to worry about the buildup of either one so coming into the bedroom here um, really wide open it really uh, takes a lot of, uh, of advantage of having that bedroom slide uh, that the bed slides outwards so you have a nice uh, um, counter uh, drawer top right here that you can put your alarm clock you can put uh, maybe a DVD player it is right under the TV backer right here uh, so you can maybe put a DVD player or Roku or uh, whatever you want right there you also have your uh, for your standard solar output you have your control panel right here it has a USB plug-in so you can even data log your in, your solar inputs and outputs uh, for those that are really avid about solar uh, that's nice really nice feature that you can actually log it all and know what's coming in what's going out coming up to the big wardrobe here is um, it's it's very tall and you can hang up your shirts in here nothing has to be really tightly folded away and worrying about wrinkles or anything like that uh, and it does have kind of that uh, smoked glass uh, fascia on it and uh, really big drawers underneath for everything else coming up to the front side here is uh, one feature that I really like about this the most is you get your windshield so um, not only do the blinds offer a, a, a small level of, of insulation as soon as I opened that I actually did feel the heat coming in from outside so with those blinds down you definitely have a way to enjoy the window but also keep it cool in here if you really if you really needed to focus on keeping it cool and other things about the bedroom you got more outlets you have your uh, inverter reset button right here so if you wake up in the middle of the night and you uh, and and something seems like it, it should be running and it's not uh, you can go over here and push your inverter button uh, we are plugged in right now so that feature won't be able to work um, storage above the beds windows on each side of the bed uh, this uh, is a king size bed so you have bedside tables for your phones uh, for maybe a cup of water uh, something like that and even some reading lights above the bed hey guys thank you so much for uh, for coming along today for uh, checking out the Rockwood 20 uh, 2608BS um, really a cool trailer I'm I, I hope you guys liked it and if you did go ahead and give this video a like hit subscribe uh, we we can't wait to show you all of our other content uh, we're uh, we're adding things to our YouTube uh, TikTok, Instagram Facebook uh, nearly on a daily basis so don't miss anything. Hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.